Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at finding different ways to write a two-digit number. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, students will write two-digit numbers in word form, expanded form, and standard form. Standard form is writing the actual number, 58. Word form is using words to write the number. Expanded form is breaking apart the number into tens plus ones. 58 equals 50 plus 8. Students may be given a two-digit number in any form and asked to represent the number in another way. To be successful in this lesson, students will need to be fluent with identifying place value and understanding how to represent two-digit numbers using expanded form. Let's take a look at an example where we will represent a two-digit number in different ways. Students will typically see a question like this with the following directions. Write the number another way. The number given to students may be represented in different ways. We will go over the different ways the number may be written and how we can write it in a different way. This example has a two-digit number given to students in word form, 31. Numbers could be given to students in word form, expanded form, or standard form. Students will then need to choose a different way to represent the number. Since our number is in word form, we can choose to represent the number in either standard form or expanded form. Let's first look at how we would represent the number 31 in expanded form. In the number 31, the number 3 is in the tens place. This means the 3 represents 3 tens, or 30. Students could write out 3 tens, or just the number 30. The 1 in the number 31 is in the ones place. That means it just represents 1. Students can write 1, or can just write plus 1. The number 31 in expanded form can be represented as 3 tens and 1 1, or 30 plus 1. Another way the students could represent the number 31 in word form differently is by writing the number in standard form. 31 in standard form is written as 31. That is how students represent two-digit numbers in different ways. A common challenge may occur with reading or writing the number in word form. A simple solution for this could be to provide students with the numbers and words for reference with recognizing the words, as well as with spelling. Another common occurrence happens when students write a two-digit number in expanded form. Students may only write the single digit that they would see in a two-digit number. For example, in the number 39, students will write 3 plus 9 equals 39. Drawing a picture to represent the number will help students see a concrete representation of the values and help with the understanding that the 3 represents 30 and the 9 represents 9. 30 plus 9. For additional practice with expanded form, review the lesson, use expanded form to represent two-digit numbers. If students are fluent with this concept seen in the lesson, Provide students with two-digit numbers in any form and have them write the number in all forms, including representing place value with a quick picture. To gain a full understanding of this lesson, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the number concepts set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.